Hey guys, my name is Lena and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review slash impression slash kind of some swatches on this kind of, it's not really a palette, but then it is, but it's something, so I'm just going to get right to it. It is this. It is the Beauty Gems Collection thing by Ulta. Um, I, this was gifted to me. And so inside you open it up and there's a mirror. Hello. And um, there's these brown colors and some rosy colors and some oranges and purples and greens on this side and some golds here. Then there's rosy here. If you just slide out the drawers. Crazy. Come closer. There is some rosies, some darker otter purples. Um, you have some normal purples, and then you have your blues, and you slide out once more. And you have your slates, and your grays, and your blacks, and you have your like main neutral colors. And so these are the eyeshadows that you get. Um, it's a lot. You have your bigger ones, uh, like these three columns are bigger than the normal ones, than these ones. And um, the colors are pretty nice. Some of them are super pigmented as like these two shadows. They're really pigmented. This is like a goldy um, burgundy and this is like a really light gold color. <laughs> really good at describing. Um, and then I have some other shadows that I blended out which I'll just get some more. Uh, so I'll take a couple. This is a darker blue color, but it comes off really pretty. There's a nice selection of mattes and um, and shimmers. The mattes aren't as pigmented as the shimmers, but they still are. So that is that was supposed to be a matte one, but it's kind of shiny. And then I'll show you a nice matte one. Hoping this one's nice. Yeah, no, that's not pigmented at all. Well then, had one try. Here's a pink matte color. If you know if you want to see it. Uh, it looks like that. And so that that is a matte one. Um, but then they have suit those pops of color. They can be really nice. Like that purple one. And this green one. They are a little chalky based on like the quality of them. They are chalky, but um, there's like some sweet spots on some nice some ones, and they can get really nice. Like this green one, like you would not expect that one to be really pigmented and pretty, but it is. So this is a really versatile palette for any person, and um, so I just I find it useful a lot. Um, some of them, so there is I told you a nice collection of mattes and shimmers, um, and pearly ones and all those kind of stuff, and so. Yeah, it's really super versatile. And also, if you take the mirror and you stick your finger in this little thing right here and you pull it down. Oh, I just skimmed on it. There is a collection of lip glosses. Hmm. Lip glosses. These things are not pigmented at all. Let's do some swatches. I'm excited to report this to you. Oh, wait. Nope. Okay, there you go. There's a color, but on your lips, nothing. Um, here's like a kind of Barbie pink. It's nothing. Or this magenta color. Now, if I press really hard, then I get something in general. Not like there. Then I'll do one last really dark nude color. Looks like that. So though these are not pigmented like at all, there's a nice color range. So you have your kind of different pink colors. What does this one look like? Interesting. 
Um, so you have your different, they have your darker pinks, your lighter pinks, your kind of normal colors. You have some reds, uh, and so you have some browns. So it's really versatile, but um, it looks like, you can see that I've digged in these looking for product. <laughs> but um, the one thing is that they are super moisturizing, and there's this white one at the top. And it literally is so moisturizing. It's not sticky. They're like chapsticks, kind of. They're like buttery. Don't really leave a gloss at all. But then also, after that, you're gonna get to the good stuff. You there? You press on this button here, and there's a pull-out drawer. Oh. And in this drawer, you have blushes. Four columns of blushes. You have two bronzers, then you have two highlights. I'm gonna swatch a couple of these blushes for you. I think you, um, these are, yeah, these are pretty pigmented, but um, on your face, it's really hard to apply because they're so small. So I've ended up just swirling the whole, like two things together and then making like one blush color. Um, but I'll swatch some of the really nice blushes. Here is a kind of, I don't know how to describe it. a dark pink color. See, they have nice pigment on your cheeks. It'd be really pretty if they are big enough. Here's like a baby pink. That one kind of died. You can see right there. Um, they have some nude pinks too. Here's a dark nude one. And then I'm going to do a peachy colored one. This is a dark peach. Here's a light one. Okay. A light, lighter peachy orange color. Yeah, this is orangey. You can't really see that one at all. There, it's right, like right there. But yeah, they have some nice color. I think swirling them together totally works. Um, but if you have a small brush and you're like, here, let me use the eyeshadow brush and apply it to my cheeks. Does that look good? That just bothers me when things aren't like proportioned. See, they blend out pretty well. They look kind of nice. But then also, there are these two bronzers. Let's see what. They, yeah, they call them bronzers. There are two bronzers, and they're on my fingers, and they're not very pigmented. And they're really orangey. I don't know you can see. There, you can see that a little bit right there. They're not very pigmented um, at all. Um, and then also there is... And then also there is two highlighters. There's also two highlighters. And these are pretty pigmented for being highlighters. They're really sheer. Yeah, you can't see them. Um, but they really do work on your eyes as highlighters. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And that was my impression on the Beauty Gems palette collection. This is my impression on the Beauty Gems collection by Ulta. And um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.